Favorite teachers, Mr. Wagner, Ms. Dixon, mm -hmm. Senora HB. What is that? She's a she's my Spanish teacher. Oh, I see. Yeah. HB. It's like and, Achebe, like. Okay. And like Mr. A, Monet. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Monet was really good too. Okay. Uh, what would you say about them? I I don't know. I like their. Uh, they're all high school, or they're like a mix of elementary. Mr. Wagner is high school. Okay. What class is that? Um, he, I had him for U.S. history. Oh wow! So I, I, I just liked his, uh, his demeanor. He was just a really good teacher, like truly just a good teacher. And then Miss um, Dixon. Miss Dixon was my elementary. Oh, what school? Holy Family. What do you remember about her? She was just like, I don't know. I think I fell in love with math because of her. She kind of, I don't know, just the way she taught and she made it enjoyable. And then wow. Senora Chabé, she was. She's my put on Spanish teacher. Put on the whole Spanish teacher. Yeah. So this is what grade? Seven. Wow. Yeah, so she was chill. I, I don't know, I just liked her too. And Mr. Monet was in what class? I was two. I was two at Milani. Yeah, he he taught me a lot of stuff, so I, yeah. I like him too. And that's, I was two is a, I don't know about now, but I think it's a requirement for most yeah, colleges. Is, so. Yeah, Including UH. Yeah. GPA 3.8. Does a part of you feel like if I wasn't an athlete, it would be higher or? It's a good thing I'm an athlete because I think, it forced I think it's me to good, study. Yeah, I think it's a good thing, but me and my mom and dad make deals. They're like, if you get good grades, you can do what you Not do what you want, but you can kind of, I guess, you have a lot more freedom. So I think it works both ways. I'm going to yeah. get good grades so I can you know, have some fun too. Yeah, do they have the, if you get straight A's, you get a thousand bucks? No, they don't really, they don't really do back. that money thing, but they do like... Uh, yeah. Freedom wise, go yeah. out more. I guess. Do you want the thousand bucks for a straight? That'd be cool, but I don't think that'd be happening. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're so close. Just for one quarter. Favorite class, math. So you're talking about Alice 2 specifically or another class? Just math in general. I think I've had a lot of good math teachers. So I, I like math. Place to relax, bedroom. Luke 1027. What's Luke 1027? That's a. Uh, I got it. From you know my mom, it's just like love the Lord that you know strengthens you and just I don't know it just it's it's kind of like my our family thing I, I like that. And your mom like lives it all in her real life, so, yeah, so you sure. understand it. Uh, what your dad said you can't forget. Pick up your feet. What does that mean? He just says it a lot when like pick up your feet. Yeah, if, if I like trip on something, like, pick up your feet or like as a joke, but. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and then, it's not, it's not here, but did your mom say anything that you can't forget? Not that, she says a lot of things, I just, I can't remember. Clean like, your room. So. Actually, my, I keep my room pretty clean. Nice. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Let me take it. All right, let's go. Uh, it doesn't, football doesn't affect my off-season off life. I've been doing this since I was very young, so it's a routine, it's something I'm used to. Yeah. So you don't take like five months off and go hunting and golfing, you actually, I think uh, you train I, yeah, throughout I the week. I think my my dad always told me it's easier to stay in shape than to get in shape. True. So I kind of just stick to that. I just try to keep my body in shape, stay healthy. But I think during off season it's just more mentally relaxing. You can just go just hit the weight room. Hit the weight room. Yeah. So your schools, elementary, Holy Family, mm -hmm. uh, and middle school, Pool in the Hole, mm -hmm. and then you ended up back here. Um, your life would have been different probably if you stayed at Puno. You still sure. I mean, both good schools, both no. good football programs. Um, but Puno is not cheap. I don't know how much your parents had to pay. I don't want to know, but yeah. but that thousand bucks a month or two thousand, I think for a lot of families. That's, like, that's the thing. I think um, I'm, it's not necessarily um, what school you're going to. It's how much you apply yourself. And um, I don't know. I just I didn't like. Everyone sacrificing so much for me, so much. I think it was like not a burden, but it was just a lot of money and just I don't know. Yeah, yeah the commute. Yeah, the commute was crazy too. Yeah, but that's fine because Milani is one of the best schools you can go to. That's what I'm saying. And like I, and, and then, then you save on tuition, so that thousand yeah. dollar deal, I think it might be. That's a good treat. Yeah, <laughs> it worked out, and Coach Rod is one of a kind. So.